Hey guys, it's NMLAC, and I'll be teaching you about what bipolar transistors do, how to use them, and how they work. So, what do they do? Transistors can be used to amplify analog signals. They can be used to control bigger components with small signal voltages from, say, a microcontroller, or for voltage regulation applications, or just switching components or circuits on and off. There are two main types of transistors. N-type transistors and P-type transistors. Transistors have three pins, labeled base, emitter, and collector. N-type transistors are also called NPN transistors, as P-type transistors are also called PNP transistors. You will soon find out why. The collector pin, shown in red, is where the transistor gets the current that it uses to amplify what's coming in on the base. The base pin is where the base current is inputted. The base current is the current that will be amplified. The emitter pin is where the amplified current comes out. So what does NPN and PNP stand for? Let's use NPN as an example. The NPN corresponds with the pins on the transistor. N being negative, P being positive, and N being negative. So, for example, the middle pin, which is the base, is P, positive, which is the middle letter. The two N pins, emitter and collector, are both negative. This means that the base current is positive, while the collector current needs to be negative, and it outputs a negative emitter current. A transistor amplifies essentially because as the base current goes up, the resistance between the emitter and the collector goes down. And as the base current goes down, the resistance be between the emitter and collector goes up. The more base current, the less resistance. And the less base current, the more resistance. Here are two videos illustrating this. Notice as I turn the variable resistor, the voltage and milliamp amounts change. The resistor is connected to positive, because it's a NPN resistor, and to the base pin on the transistor. As I let more electricity through, the voltage and milliamp readings will go up. And as I let less electricity through the base, the voltage and milliamp readings will go down. Here is another example circuit that shows why a transistor might be useful. In this circuit, the LED will turn off whenever the photoresistor cannot sense enough light. Notice in the first circuit labeled no transistor, the LED brightness will barely change regardless of how much light there is. Notice in the second circuit, the light doesn't change at all no matter how much light there is. This is because the photoresistor is always letting enough electricity through to the base pin so that the transistor becomes saturated. This means that there is enough base current for, the, for there to be almost no resistance between the emitter and collector pins. Notice how in the third circuit the LED turns off almost immediately after my hand covers the light source. This is because I have put a resistor in parallel with the photoresistor. When the photoresistor has light coming to it, the resistance is less than that of the resistor, so positive voltage is flowing to the base pin. However, when the photoresistor is covered, it lets less electricity through than the resistor would, so the electricity flowing to the base pin is negative because it goes through the resistor. The photoresistor is connected to a positive voltage and the resistor is connected to a negative voltage. Here's an example of how to build a simple transistor circuit. The first thing you want to do is put your transistor into your breadboard like this. The second thing you want to do is connect your collector pin to your ground pin because this is an NPN transistor.
the the second the third thing you want to do is take one of your 1k resistors plug it into your emitter pin on the transistor don't plug it into the ground because we're going to be connecting this to your LED you want to put the positive pin of the LED into the positive voltage because this is where the because the emitter will be giving off negative voltage so you want your positive pin in the positive voltage connect the base pin on your transistor to your photoresistor and then the photoresistor to positive voltage also because this is an NPN transistor so you want positive voltage on your base pin Take your other 1K resistor and connect it in parallel with your photoresistor, but connect the resistor instead of the positive voltage to the negative voltage. You'll notice that the LED turns on because there is light. And when I cover the light with my hand, it'll turn off. Here's another view of this. And that would be it for this tutorial. You should subscribe if you like this video, because there will be more. And if you have something to ask or say, leave comments.